Hello, this is Lucia. I'm here today to show you the wireless sharing capabilities on our Como Bundleboard Jude series. This is our Android 8 display, so it has a lot of really cool features to it. As wireless sharing is becoming more and more popular in the classroom, this feature is an absolute must when selecting your interactive display. We use a client called eShare, which can be found under Apps. Click on the Apps button on the home page, and you'll see eShare Pro. Open up eShare Pro, and there are instructions on how to download eShare onto your devices right on the screen. You can download it onto your Windows computers, your MacBooks, your iOS devices such as iPhones, iPads, your Android tablets, and even Chromebooks. The first thing that I recommend doing when you have your eShare opened is changing the name of the device. For my device, I have it named as Demo, and this can be done in your settings page down on the bottom of your screen. You'll see a device name that is pre-generated for you and you can click on the edit button and you can change this to your identifying name. For this device, I'll name it demo. You can also set a password. So this is if you are concerned about other people connecting onto your display. You can select a six digit or eight digit code. This pin code can be auto-generated and you can reset it. You can choose how often you want this pin code to be refreshed or you can disable it from being refreshed if you want to just write down this code. You can also hide the floating pin code. So this is if you do decide to turn off your refresh interval, you can hide this and now only you know the code and other people can't connect to this display. You can also share up to four different devices at the same time. So right now I have a set up four screens. If you only want to share one screen, you can click on disable. AirPlay Visible allows you to use Apple's built-in feature AirPlay and cast onto the display through AirPlay, which is a pretty nifty tool. eShare can be downloaded on the MacBook by going to your Safari and going to eShare.app. You'll see a couple options. Download eShare for Mac. As you can see, eShare is compatible with Android, Windows, Macs, iOS, and Chrome OS. Open the eShare client. Select eShare package. And follow the instructions to download. You can go into your finder to find eShare. You can change your name. And when you're ready to connect, you can select the device that you want to connect to and click on connect. Share screen, and your screen will be mirrored over to your display. eShare also supports AirPlay, which is a built-in wireless casting service provided by Apple. To access AirPlay, 
you will see the AirPlay logo. If you can't find this, look up how to enable AirPlay on your Mac device. Click on the AirPlay icon and you will see Demo, which is the name of the display I want to cast to. Click on Demo and successfully my MacBook is projected onto my display. To download eShare on a Windows computer, go to eShare.app. You can see a couple different options. Select eShare for Windows. Allow the client to download. And install eShare. When you have eShare downloaded, the first step is to make sure that you're connected on the same network as your screen that you're casting to. When you go to the eShare page on the screen, you will see which network the screen is connected to. In my case, the network I'm connected to is Como Guest. Right now, I can see that I'm also connected to Como Guest here. When I'm connected to the same network, I can see my list of devices. I want to connect to Demo, and this is why naming your screen is extremely useful. I can now identify my screen. I can click on connect. And since my screen doesn't have a password, it will lead me right to my display. When I'm ready to share, I can just click on share screen. And there you go. Now I can share my screen. This is great for sharing things such as my Google Slides, my anything I have on my computer without actually being connected to the screen. If I'm on a different network than my screen, for instance, right now I'm connected to Como Corp and my screen is connected to Como Guest, you'll see that there's no devices active. If you still want to connect onto your display while be connected onto a different network, you can enter in the IP code that pops up under your screen's name on the eShare homepage. My, my IP number for my demo screen is 192.168.1.1. If I click on the go button, it will automatically link me to my demo screen. Now I can share my screen and be able to display information to my participants. So now I have everything set up exactly how I want, I can cast my device right up to the screen. I'm using a Microsoft Surface. You can use any other type of Windows computers, as well as Chromebooks, Apple devices, Android phones, tablets, um, and you can download eShare and use that to cast right to the screen. So I'm going to click on the share screen feature that I showed earlier, and bam, this is my device right onto the screen. Pretty cool. Over here I have my Google Drive open. I can access different things on my Google Drive. 
You can use touch with eShare using Windows and MacBooks. I'm going to open this. I can go and click present. And now I can share my lesson. I can be in the back of the room doing this. I can be up front. It's up to you. I can be controlling this lesson from my computer. You can also share up to four different devices at the same time. I can click on share screen on my MacBook. And you see now two different devices at the same time. And again, this is in live time. So I can open up a web browser. And I can share two different computers or devices at the same time. This is a really, really great tool if you want to quickly display something without using wires or just display multiple things at the same time. Well, this concludes my quick tutorial on Como's Bundle Board wireless sharing capabilities. If you have any questions on the product or more on wireless sharing, please contact hello at como.com. Have a good one.